So on this play, just a quick note, Greg gets uh, well below the 28-foot uh, mark in position where the players are, turns a little bit to the left, and has a great open look at the space in between the two players. That's just where you want to be. Watch middle. Watch middle. Trap that. Trap it. So we wanted to get into good habits here in summer ball. So you got to do what you would do in a game. You got to leave that ball alone. Come over to the table, probably up into where the uh, white lines crisscross up there by the black shirt player a little bit so the table can see you. And you want to give your color first of the jersey and then the number and then the infraction and then the spot of the ball. Um, so you need to practice what you're going to do in a regular game in summer ball. Uh, because you need you you go it's too easy to get into poor habits. I have to look at that one on the tape. That's what I thought. That's what I thought, but I wasn't sure. Hands up! Put your hands up! play I would um, I would use this as a play for discussion um, could be me it could be the camera I'm not seeing that much contact in the call. It could be marginal contact but again it's the trail making the call and you've got two other officials that are right there again they might be straight lined and the contact might be worse but I absolutely would have a play for discussion on this uh, and see you know if we if we are making the a, a really good call there or if we're better off trusting our partners uh, and uh, letting that letting that play uh, develop uh, the other thing is, is as we come back into uh, uh, after the substitutions nobody knows or there seems to be uncertainty as to whether or not the ball is to be taken out of bounds and shooting so you need to make that uh, mechanical There was a bunch of signaling and pointing, and I'm, I, I don't know what that is, so I, I would have to hear from you guys to let me know. So just a general note here, the, uh, again, the report was uh, the number and color first in that order. It needs to be color and number. 
and you need to work on the mechanics. The hold should be up high with your right hand grasping your own wrist to indicate a hold and clearly so your face can see the table and the table can see your arms and you need to be about 10 feet back behind uh, where you are so that you're away from the tables in the coaches area. Just in general, J John and uh, Charles need to practice mechanics uh, in the mirror or with another person or even get the info what correct mechanics are because um, we're, we're not using correct mechanics. <laughs> So on this rebound play, we have a double whistle and two officials. And we want to have somebody let the other official know that we know it's a double whistle and who's going to take the call. John just turns around, no communication. So you want to make sure that you freeze, look at your other official. If it's in someone's primary, you should let them take it. And the uh, last notice is that... Uh, that uh, mechanic on the hit, John, you got to, you know, get your arm way up in the air, strike your right arm with your left arm, indicate hit. Uh, you, you're uh, a little, you're down there a little bit too low where uh, you don't want it to be, you want it to be up near your chest, below your eyes, uh, not covering your mouth. And uh, that way you're, you're giving a good, clear uh, sign, symbol, mechanic and voice to the table. And we put the number ahead of the color again. So that's something you gotta you're in a into a habit where you gotta get out of. So color number. And I'm not gonna mention it again. So just to uh, quick note to uh, let everybody know that two or three is going to be the reporting official trades places with the player nearest the table. So if you're the trail on this, your calling official is going to come over and come to the table, and you're simply going to go to the other side and uh, switch some spots with him. Usually you to be so you keep going down real low, Charles, and John doesn't know what to do. And so you just a quick switch go around the players and that's it and everybody maybe i don't know if everybody knows that so just worth mentioning
just on that foul call, just a quick note. Well, you want to go a little bit on it to your right and go around the, the players on the baseline as, instead of through the middle of the paint. mechanics on this we're walking a little bit too close to the table and I'm really not sure what that mechanic is that with the arms crisscross like an X so definitely need to work on mechanics and the proper mechanics that are uh, that everyone uses so that we can communicate with each other <laughs> what? oh my god Two straight, two straight. Hands up, corner, corner. Get over there. Shot. Oh, you in the man, bro. Oh, you in the man. Right there, trap, the trap. Got a double whistle. So we have a double whistle on this call, and uh, we got to remember that one, you know, a foul doesn't take precedence over an out of bounds call. 
remember you're putting a foul on a kid so you might have to come over to the table and uh, explain to the coach why you're putting a foul on his kid and why the ball isn't out of bounds could be at a critical time could be his fifth foul so you know whenever there's a double whistle we got to acknowledge to our fellow referees that, that there was a double whistle and we go over and discuss why one call would be um, the call rather than the out of bounds call so you want to make sure there's a discussion and when you get to the table, you then have an agreed upon answer as to why it is a foul or a travel or a out of bounds rather than the other two calls with the other call. So again, you, you want to practice this stuff to summer league. Um, yeah, I see that uh, Charles, when you walk away, you kind of got your hand in the air like, I got this, I got this. Well, that, you, can't, you can't do it that way because you have to be able to explain to the coach uh, with agreement from your other officials why one has precedence over the other, why why is it not out of bounds? Why is it a foul on my kid? Um, and you need to answer that. I got, a got a double whistle. So I'm not exactly sure uh, what happened here. Uh, I know that Charles made the call from across the court, which I don't have a problem with. It's open court. It's transition. Um, and that has to be called. There's no question about it. I'm not sure why John, he looks like he's seeing it. It looks like he's got his head turned. Uh, maybe he just saw it late. And I, uh, I think Greg is probably just beaten down the floor after he administered the throw-in because it came down pretty quick. But we get the call, and that's great. Charles got it. Question is, uh, is this a basketball play? Is this a play on the on the ball, or is or is this uh, an intentional foul? So that is something you need to um, address. This is an open court breakaway uh, foul where he grabs the player's arm. Um, I don't believe it's a play on the ball, and uh, I believe that that is an intentional foul. So uh, I just don't see it being a basketball play and I don't see it being a play on the basketball. Um, clearly it's intended to thwart the player's advancement on a breakaway. And that's, uh, again, you know, maybe it's a play for discussion and we can talk to a couple other people, but I think that should be an intentional foul, two shots in the ball, opposite the table. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, boy, So I'm, I just am going to keep playing this um, so we don't have to go back and stop the tape. But on this, the mechanic there, Charles, you, you don't indicate um, what it is, whether or not we're shooting or it's out of bounds. So at the time it was reported, yeah, see, we don't, no one knows what's going on. And Greg is going to stop it. And there should be a meeting. There you go. You finally stop it. But um, at the time of the foul would be the best place, you know, to uh, report that and to indicate what it is. Bang, you blow the whistle. We got a hold, it's intentional, or it's not, and the spot out of bounds, or we're shooting two uh, on, a, on an intentional. Uh, so um, you got to do that when you make the call. Uh, so I need to work on that mechanic because I'm not sure what it was. So I'm going to call this game here. Uh, nothing that I haven't already mentioned uh, occurred. A little sloppy towards the end. You guys kept refereeing to the end. Uh, so uh, you know nothing new to report. So I'm going to let it go at that uh, and hope that uh, 
everybody finds this useful. I hope you guys uh, take the time to take a look at these. If, I, if you have anything to add or if I got anything wrong, give me a call. Let me know. Um, remember, the intent is to try to uh, point out some good habits, eliminate some bad habits, um, get us to develop to where we want to be able to do the higher level games. So uh, let me know again if there's anything you see that can make me better. And uh, again, I hope this helps. Thanks, guys.